Hi, my name is Chris Shermerhorn, CDT. Been working in the dental lab industry for more than 25 years. Been working with thermoplastics for more than 15 and working with Myerson Dental for the last 10 years. What you're gonna learn in this video today is how to polish the Duraflex to a nice high shine. Thank you for watching. As you can see here, Duraflex can be finished with regular carbide burrs. Once you are done finishing, it's now time to polish. First thing we're gonna talk about is these discs. They start with your yellow. And they have the abrasive already in the bristles. So the yellow is gonna be your most abrasive. This is gonna be like your pumice when you're doing regular acrylics. Next we'll have our red, which is a little bit of a finer abrasive, the blue, and then the green, which you actually start to get a sh bit of a shine on the appliance with the green. So the first thing you wanna do is use your yellow. As we talked about, it's going to be your most aggressive. It's going to get your scratches all out of, off of the surface. On a lathe with only high and low speed options, you may not be quite as efficient. Hit it at all different angles. It will not hurt your teeth, the denture teeth. You can go right over those denture teeth, getting into the, the joint between the materials. So once you go over the yellow, you wanna spend most of your time getting all the scratches out, but yet you can see it still has a dullness to it. We'll then go over very quickly. What it's gonna do is just put a little of a finer scratch, which that's basically what polishing is, is going finer and finer. If you were to have a deep vaulted palette and the brush wouldn't get in there, you can slow it down so there's less centrifugal force and a really mush around and get into those finer areas. And then you can speed it up if you got nice uh, flatter areas. So again, you can see we just start to develop a little bit more of a shine with each step down in the amount of abrasiveness in those brushes. And as I said at the start, you're actually gonna have a bit of a shine happening with the green. But that's by no means what your high shine is gonna look like. This is a good shine, but now watch what kind of shine the rag wheel gives it. Nice thing about a paste is it allows you to go at a higher rate of speed with the rag wheel. The reason it does that is because it acts as a lubricant at the same time as a polish. And so you wanna make sure that it's wet, keep some material, keep your finger wet, and go over that surface. Keep wiping it. All right, and as you can see, it'll give it a nice shine. So a lot of times when you finish these materials, you'll get these little hairs that develop. There's no reason to take brushes and things to try to knock them off. With this torch, as you're polishing, they'll literally just disappear. Hold the nozzle of the torch really close to the plastic so you just flash heat the surface and don't allow that heat to soak all the way through. Heat an area, shine it, then jump to a different area, shine that. By the time you come back to that original one, it will have cooled down. That'll reduce the risk of warpage. Well, there you have it. If you have any questions, give us a call. This is Chris Schimmelhorn. See you next time.